Hey YouTube. I have nothing profound to say tonight. I'm just checking in. And I just wanted to express some of my thoughts. It's nothing earth shaking. I'm not going to tell you any traps or tricks the Watchtower Society has been using on us or on our families or on our friends. I just want to say that I'm thinking about the ones who write to me, speak to me on a regular basis, telling me how they've lost their families, they've lost their friends, how it's hurt them. I get a lot of people writing to me these things. I see a lot of pain in the friends, sincere pain. I was watching Naturally's video just now. If you don't know who Naturally is, I'll show you. You see, that's Naturally one. And I see the pain, and I relate to that pain very well. And I hate to see it. I think of the ones inside who want to escape the Watchtower Society but are afraid to. And I wonder how many of you there are. One out of ten Jehovah's Witnesses that want to escape. One out of seven. One out of five. One out of four. Could one out of four of you secretly wish to escape but you're afraid to because you'll lose your family and your friends I can understand that very well I also think of this opportunity this window of opportunity that the YouTube community is offering when I see so many like naturally one and others that have suffered tremendous casualties in exiting but now have their freedom They've moved on with their lives. They've reconstructed their lives. They will never go back to the Watchtower Society. They know what it is. They know that it is a destructive cult. And they've come to this conclusion on their own. They are happy to be free. We have a user in the community happy to be free. I don't know how long we're going to have this window of opportunity with the YouTube community, but I really believe that the window of opportunity is open very wide right now for ones to leave and make friends and interact with other like-minded ones who've escaped. I often wonder what would happen if all of you out there that is secretly wishing to escape but are silent about this, afraid to be called an apostate, afraid of that label, afraid of losing your family and your friends, I wonder what would happen if all were to walk out at one time, just suddenly walk out. I dream of this. What would happen? How many would there be? What kind of impact would that have on the Watchtower Society? I know that if nobody leaves and nobody speaks up, then there will be no impact. But I know when I left my congregation, I impacted it. I did not sit down with the elders. I did not cooperate by writing a letter of disassociation like they wanted me to. I told them I would no longer cooperate with anything that they say ever again including sitting down with the elders and writing a letter of disassociation. And that was it, and I severed it right then. I called as many of the friends I could before they made that announcement. I told them how I felt about them. I offered them friendship if they choose to escape. They probably were wondering, well, he's gone crazy, he's mad, he doesn't know what he's doing. Satan's got him. Satan didn't get me. I escaped the cult, a destructive cult, and I am free. What I would like you to do, all the ones who feel confident to do this, all of you out there who've already left, all of you 
who may be thinking of leaving, if you feel like doing this, I would like everyone to make a video response here telling exactly how you feel now that you've escaped. Is your life worse that you lost your family? Is your life the same? Is your life better? For the ones who are thinking of escaping, the ones who already have, could you please make a video response to this video? And I'm going to open it up to just accept video responses. So it doesn't have to be approved. Say whatever you want. If you want to call me an idiot, whatever you want to do in video response, tell your story. Tell what you went through and how you've recovered now, if you've recovered, if you're having psychological problems. Be candid, be truthful, so the ones out there can see the effect that the Watchtower Society still has. Now, in my case, I am completely 100% glad I escaped. I have no regrets. If I was in it tonight, I would have left. If I had to go to a meeting tomorrow, I would call everybody tonight and tell them I'm never going back. I would do it again today if I was still in it. I would be gone, and I'm glad I did it. I've moved on with my life. I've reached a better, a higher plane of existence, the real life that we have here. Not a dream fantasy world life of make-believe where we're going to pet sheep and sheep and wolves and everything are going to be living in perfect harmony, which we know can't possibly happen because sheep need a natural enemy or they would overgraze everything to the point where there'd be no more grass and then they'd all starve to death. If you let herbivores just run rampant like that and there's no predators to keep that population in control. All of that stuff was a big fallacy that we were told. Everything. Like Naturally was saying about the folks in Malawi. What a shame, huh? Those people didn't have any money. They had to contribute with their blood. And so the Watchtower Society then made a virtue out of a fall. They knew they screwed up making those poor brothers and sisters not get that identification card knowing they, they were responsible for their death and that their blood is on their hands. So what do they do? They come out and put it in a yearbook and look at those faithful brothers and sisters how they were persecuted for Christ's sake. No, it's not for Christ's sake. If you don't believe me, read the lyrics to song number 63, Ever Loyal. You don't see Jesus' name mentioned in that song once. No, but you see the loyalty to the brothers over and over again with the hypnotic bait and switch. Nothing about Jesus. This is nothing about Jesus, this religion. It's all about the handlers of the Watchtower Society controlling the minds of the members. And it's going to take a mass exodus of people breaking free. So please make your video response to this video. I would love to see uh, over hundreds of video responses to this. Everybody out there, all of you, all of the apostate community, please make a video response to this telling your story. Thank you.